Boon bitches dominated. Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day today. Today we'll be looking at the Demolisher and seeing what we can do to make him the best that he can be. Like last time, we'll go over the abilities real quick before we dive into the perk grid. Your first ability is the Micro Rockets. This ability fires three rockets that detonate on impact and creates a rather large shockwave that damages and stumbles your enemies. This ability can also be altered by taking specific perks from the perk grid. Blast Wave is a point-blank area of effects ability that does modest damage and knocks enemies away from you. A good little CC for when you get crowded. And lastly, the passive perk is Clear the Room. This passive grants the Demolisher a small damage boost for each stack you gain, and these stacks are gained by activating and hitting enemies with your abilities. However, we'll be mostly using it for the damage boost and utility we get from it from our perk grid. Speaking of which, let's dive into it. Let's go over the ability perks first, starting with the passive. For clear the room, we're only going to be taking one perk, and that is quick and dirty. This perk reduces your ability cooldown by one second for each stack that expires. Very handy to get your abilities back as quickly as possible. For micro rockets, we're going to modify it with the concussive rockets. Sure, it lowers the damage by a significant amount, but the amount of crowd control you gain from it outweighs its damage loss, and we can recuperate the damage loss by taking other perks. For example, by taking Fire and Forget, hitting an enemy causes them to take 25% more damage from AoE attacks. This includes your Blast Wave, and gives them an additional debuff where they lose 8% of their total health over 8 seconds. Nothing to brag about, but every bit of damage helps, especially on higher difficulties. And we're going to be rounding off Micro Rockets with Rapid Deployment so that we can use it more often, and a Reach 4 perk so that we can increase the effective radius and get more Clear the Room stacks. Before we go any further, I do realize that every Reach mod, this includes bigger and better, are currently bugged. They show a visual increase and not an actual increase. This is bound to get fixed in the near future. In the meantime, you can swap it for more cooldown reduction. When we look at Blast Wave, we'll be taking bigger and better for the radius increase so that we can hit more enemies and get more stacks. Again, currently bugged, so go for a cooldown reduction instead. Just don't forget to swap it back once they fix the radius mods. Those stacks are very important for you, not only for your damage output, but for your cooldown reduction as well. The next one is Loud and Clear, which not only generates an additional stack of Clear the Room, but also increases the damage by 20% on top of the 25% you're already getting from Fire and Forget if you use your Micro Rockets first. And lastly for Blast Wave, we're taking Assault and Battery for the 10% in cooldown reduction for each enemy hit, with a max of 50% in total. This will ensure that we can use Blast Wave as much as possible. With all this knockdown CC, we're obviously going to take Down and Out as well. This perk increases your damage by 20% to downed and stunned enemies. This is a flat damage increase. Rounding off the perk grid with even more damage, I've gone for Demolisher Heavy Training for max ammo and reload speed, and the Demolisher Heavy Expertise mainly for the heavy weapon damage increase. Your heavy weapon is going to be the main source of damage, so increasing its potency is important for higher difficulties. For weapons, I highly recommend the Smart Gun, it's very reliant, does decent damage, especially when combined with your abilities. However, the downside of this gun is that it eats bullets like I eat M&Ms. I'll keep dropping the drone, don't worry. So be sure to take a recon with you that can supply you with an ample amount of M&Ms. A good alternative to the smart gun, if you don't want to use the smart gun, is the minigun. For the mods, we're going with the tanker muzzle brink for the 20% increased weak point damage and the ability to stun enemies on hit. This will also proctor down an outperk. For the barrel, we're going with the hybrid rifling for more fire rate. The faster you fire, the higher your DPS. And lastly, the quick charge armature for reload speed and fire rate on hit, increasing your DPS even more. For your rifle slot, you can choose any weapon you so desire. I do recommend the Pulse Rifle, the Heavy Assault Rifle, the Kramer, and if you want to have something with a little bit more range, the Twilight is a solid choice as well. For the Pulse Rifle, go with the Ported Compensator, Alloyed Magazines, and a Laser Sight. For the Heavy Assault, go with the Ported Compensator, Alloyed Magazines, and Laser Sight. For the Kramer, go with the Ported Compensator, the Casket Magazines, and a Hybrid Sight. And for the Twilight, go with the Tanker Muzzle Brake, the Armor Piercing Rounds, and the Digital Scope. For consumables, we're going with the Cryo Grids for even more CC and a Vulnerability Drone for more team-wide DPS increase. And with this build, you are going to be a crowd control god, knocking them down, stunning their asses, and then taking them out while they're sitting there just like target dummies. 
And this is the demo build I use for extreme and insane difficulties. Give this build a try and see for yourself how good it truly is. If you like this build and you want to see more Aliens Fireteam Elite builds, be sure to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And I'll see you when I see you.